Speed. Speed. This is Jasmine's interview. Take one. It's an amazing feeling to know that you can make a certain sound with an instrument. I mean, it's great that you can make a sound, but when you can learn to kind of perfect it and mold it into your sound, and you get to a certain point where you're like, okay, well, this is mine. You know, other people have this sound, but it's my unique sound. It's my talent. It's my connection. It's kind of like a getaway. So it's, it's kind of like your own land, and you do what you want with it. So it's an amazing feeling to connect with the instrument. I'm Jasmine Tate, and I'm 18 years old, and I go to John Overton High School. I'm a senior this year, so graduate in two weeks. College presented me with many, many challenges that I was not ready for. Since I graduated high school, I did start my fall semester at UT as a freshman, and I came in as a double major, music performance and music education. Everybody told me not to do it, and I'm hard-headed, and when you tell me I can't do something, I'm going to try to prove you wrong. So I went in double majoring, and it kicked my butt like everybody said it would. Coming into UT, I decided to continue to attend in the music program for the tuba professor, uh, Kelly Thomas, a great Great, great tuba player, very great inspiration. Unfortunately, uh, my sophomore year, he was uh, stung by a wasp and ended up passing away. And so that was kind of the... He was a good man. He was kind of the reason. I just kind of stopped music. I couldn't handle it. I didn't want to learn from anybody else. I didn't get the chance to learn under him, you know rest his soul, but you know, life moves on and I've moved on and that's just really one of the reasons that I kind of um, stopped music, stopped with music. So. What music has taught me mainly is I need to keep pushing. I've been through some hard times and all I can ever think about is, you know, when I'm down and I'm like, oh, I don't know if I can get back to music, I don't know if I want to get back into it, or if I always think, like, I don't know if I can do something. All I hear is the times that anybody, my music teachers especially, have told me, you know, just keep working at it. It's not easy. It's going to come to you. It's going to come to you. You just have to work at it. You can't, you can't expect it to be handed to you. Keep your head up and keep pushing forward most definitely. That's, that's really what I've taken with me all my life. No, I'm not in music right now. I'm just taking a minor break, but it's, you know, small setback for a major comeback. What I hope for, like hope to be doing in my wildest dreams. I've been asked that question several times and my answer every time, it may seem cliche, you know, being a music thing. It's not skydiving uh, with a bunch of friends. It's not bungee jumping, nothing wild like that. I literally want to have my own symphony and be the director of my own symphony, the conductor, you know, my name on it. Anything that will help a community or anywhere and I just, but I also want it to be like one of the top symphonies in the world. Like, that's just, that's my, that's what I want, my wildest dream.